guys, how's it going? So I've often been asked if I can run my refrigerator on this inverter. This is my 5000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And I've uh, had a discussion with uh, some people on various forums about how, especially the power jack inverters being so overly rated versus what they're actually capable of, um, will not run a refrigerator, that the inverter will go into fault, and, uh, you know, that's basically it. You can't run your fridge on it. So right now, I've got my solar panels bringing about, uh, looks like about 15 to 20 amps. I've got my two solar batteries, 125 amp hours each. They're almost fully charged. In fact, they're going to be here in just a second. And... On the end of this is my refrigerator, and it is in the on, um, it's cold enough where it's going to come on when I plug it in, okay? So you will be able to see, not only does it work, but you'll see what happens when I plug it in. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. So you get an alarm briefly, and what that basically means is the voltage briefly dropped uh pretty low and uh, that's because the compressor on the refrigerator actually draws uh, about 10 times what it's rated for to start for about maybe half second a second at most so for that little bit there it was pulling in um, probably about 2,000 watts um, you know that's that's my best guess it's, this is generally accepted that uh, the draw on a compressor like a fridge is about 10 times what its actual uh, rate is. And this refrigerator that I have draws about 180 to 190 watts uh, on load. So I can guess that it's at least 15 to 2,000 watts um, instant draw. And as you can see, everything's working. It's still on. The inverter is still running. None of this information shows unless it's hooked up to 220 volts, which it's obviously not. But my panels are still charging the battery just fine because the draw from the fridge is actually less than what my solar panels are putting out. And uh, it's doing just fine. It, it's quite literally doing just fine. So, and of course the fridge is working just fine. I can barely hear it in there right now, but it is working. Um, but for proof, I'll go ahead and walk in there and I'll show you. So here's the plug. I know you can't see that too well. Here's the plug that's leading to the inverter itself. The fridge, yeah, it's a mess, I know. But anyway, the fridge is running just fine. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You can probably hear that. So yeah, it's running just fine. I'm having no problems whatsoever with this. So it will run a fridge just fine. Now, because the startup cost is so high for any motor like that, an AC motor, compressor, whatever, this isn't something that I run continuous. I don't have this plugged into the fridge all the time and have the fridge running. Now, the main reason that I don't run the fridge on this yet 24-7 is because of the battery bank size I currently have. These batteries are rated for 15 amps draw continuous each. So 30 amps DC, 12 volts each. They also have a quick discharge of 30 amps. So about double what their continuous amps are rated at. So I've got um, 60 amps of quick discharge. Actually discharged for one hour before I risk damaging the batteries. Now, 60 amps at 12 volts, you're looking at um, roughly 1,200 watts or so, um, you know, AC, that is, at 120 volts. And the fridge actually pulls more than that briefly. So I don't want to risk actually damage to the battery bank. Now, this will be great in a pinch. But uh, until I add more batteries, I cannot reliably keep the inverter running the fridge. Now, that is the goal, obviously, because 
the reason that I bought this inverter was to be able to tie directly into my house. It's got a 240 out on it. So, um, you know, eventually that's going to happen, but I need a much larger battery bank before I can start running things uh, whole house-wise. But this is just proof that it will work, and in an emergency, let's say tomorrow we lost power for some reason, I'd be able to keep the fridge running comfortably, um, but not 24-7. So, anyway, um, now you can see that uh, I can definitely run the fridge, no problems at all. So, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care, guys.